The NYPD officer Jason Rivera was a rookie, sworn in in November 2020. And while at the police academy, he had written about wanting to improve relations between cops and communities. Our team coverage continues this evening with Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands. She is also in Harlem. Shante? Now, Sandra, I met with the family of that slain police officer. They were understandably upset. His brother, his older brother, wanted me to tell you and everyone else in the community that he loved what he did and that he dreamt of being a police officer. Police hang black bunting over the entrance of the 32nd precinct, a solemn reminder that the NYPD just lost one of their own. Last night, a procession held outside of Harlem Hospital carried the remains of Officer Jason Rivera. The 22-year-old was killed yesterday evening when he and his partner were shot ambush style after responding to a domestic call inside a first floor apartment on West 135th Street. 22, that's, wow, that's not even living life, you know, but, you know, he put it all on the line, you know, because he, he cared about his community. Johnny Evans, like many in the neighborhood who knew Officer Rivera, stopped by the precinct to pay their respect. I could tell, like, he, he really cared, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know he was a rookie, you know what I'm saying? And you could just, from knowing that, you could tell he came with new blood. He came with, you know, just wanting to help the community. Officer Jason Rivera leaves behind a wife. He was Dominican and grew up in Inwood. He graduated from Wills High School in Washington Heights. His older brother tells Eyewitness News that he dreamt of being a police officer. In a letter to his commanding officer in the police academy, Officer Rivera wrote, quote, when I applied to become a police officer, I knew this was the career for me. Coming from an immigrant family, I will be the first to say that I am a member of the NYPD the greatest police force in the world. Officer Rivera joined the force in November of 2020. Members of the National Action Network gathered outside of the crime scene to pray for Officer Rivera and his partner, 27-year-old Officer Wilbert Mora, who was shot in his head and is now at Harlem Hospital clinging to life. We're praying for these families. Uh, we know that there are tragedies that are happening on police every day, and we want to stand up for that. We know that that is wrong. Now, Officer Rivera's older brother was too emotional to speak on camera with me, but he wanted me to leave you with this about his brother. He loved what he did, and he was the hardest working person. I want people to know how much he loved what he did and how much he devoted to his career, and he died doing what he loved, and I am extremely, extremely proud of him. Now, Cardinal Timothy Dolan met with both families of both police officers. There will be a candlelight vigil here soon at 6.30. The mayor is expected to attend. And if you want to read that full letter by Officer Rivera that he sent and when he was in the police academy, you can find that on our website. It's abc7ny.com.